Today I'm going to be doing a demo on the Clear Care Go mobile app. This is the new app that was released for Android devices. As you can see, this is my home page for my smartphone. Right here is the icon of the old version, which was actually a mobile website. If you are using an iPhone, this is still the, the current version for iPhone users. Some Android users might still be using this version, but can go ahead and, and download the newest version, which looks like that, from the uh, Google Play Store. <clears throat> in order to do that, go ahead and hit the Play Store. And in the search bar, type Clear Care. Help if I spelled it correctly. Clear Care Go. And uh, this will show download. Click that and download and install. It is important to make sure that this app is up to date and um, otherwise it, it might not uh, function properly. So once installed, go back to the home screen and click on the app. It'll open up and your username and password. Username is the email in which we use to communicate with you at the office. Password is always going to be home care one. If you hit remember me, it will remember the email but not the password. In order for it to remember the password, you have to enable this fingerprint feature, which we do once logged in in the settings. So go ahead and lo log in. This uh, may pop up if uh, asking to save the password for autofill. You can hit save. Um, I'm going to hit no for now. And in order to do that fingerprint password, um, this is the landing page. And up here in the top left is the menu. Click the menu button and go ahead and, and push on your name. And this uh, pulls up your profile which you have access to now edit. So you can update your phone, your um, address, email, and then turn on this fingerprint sign-in feature, which you do by just sliding that over and setting that up. And you can edit it here um, as well. So going back to the landing page, this is what it looks like when you log in, and um, it's got a calendar, weekly calendar up at the top. It's got any shifts that uh, are scheduled for today. Um, if you hit this calendar icon here, it'll display any shifts in the future, which you can look at. Uh, by clicking the um, initials here, these are initials for any client that uh, you might have, and clicking that will take you to their uh, client page, which has information about their address, phone number, um, or emergency contact. Up here is uh, uh, their care plan. So clicking this icon, you can uh, look at the care plan or care assessment is, is what they're calling it. Um, review the needs and the goals, the demographics, um, any ADLs or IADL information. And um, ambulation, just a whole bunch of uh, useful information about each client that uh, can be seen and reviewed in here uh, at any time as well. Uh, so go ahead and hit back and going back to the landing page, um, if you have a scheduled shift, we'll go ahead and click on this and um, clock in. Important thing about clocking in is this bar at the bottom has to be green. If it is red, it either GPS might be turned off on your phone settings, um, or most likely you might just have a bad GPS connection. Sometimes that might happen if a client lives in a maybe a rural area that, that or an area that doesn't get good service. Um, give it a, a few seconds to, to see if it can update. Um, if not, just give the office a call and we'll try and figure out a, a, a good solution to work around it. Um, but go ahead and, and hit clock in once it's showing green. 
And once lock, uh, clocked in, it takes you to the task page. Uh, now this page it, it might be new for um, many caregivers and we are moving to replace the paper care note with digital care notes. So these tasks, um, think of them as those little check boxes that we would check on the paper care note. Uh, so just as we would check on the paper, we're going to go ahead and check off on the digital care note um, that we've completed these. If you hit the arrow button, it'll take you to a little bit more detailed page where it has a more of a description um, and information that you can leave a comment if you'd like. If you hit yes, you don't have to leave a comment, but if you hit no, it does automatically take you to that description page and does require a comment. So for instance, if a uh, client did not have a bath today, you could just um, leave a comment to that effect and hit submit. And then um, if it changes for whatever reason later on in the shift, uh, you can always update it and hit yes. And then leave a comment um, letting the office know. So we'll go ahead and back out and just um, keep checking off tasks. At any time in the shift, you can leave a comment or add mileage. Uh, you don't have to do this all at once. You can do it throughout the shift and it will automatically save as you're um, entering tasks and comments and mileage. And once you get down to the bottom, you'll have the ability to um, clock out. All of these tasks must be completed in order for that to show clock out. And uh, let's go ahead and hit clock out. When you hit clock out, a new um, icon will appear at the bottom of a few steps that we need to complete in order to clock out successfully. So we'll go ahead and hit next. It um, will just verify if there's any more mileage that needs to be entered that may not have been yet at this point. If not, just go ahead and hit next. This is a, a place to leave a comment and I would use this as we use the paper care note where on um, the, the top right there's a box, a little paragraph where we could leave daily notes, um, just high level, a uh, couple sentences of things that we helped out this is where I would do that. So uh, on the task list, those are like the check boxes. This comment box is, is like the, the paragraph, um, you know, just a couple sentences, high level of, of things that helped out with. And um, once complete, hit next. And because I've uh, already signed this, um, it remembers it. However, I can clear it. But um, just like we signed the paper care notes, um, we need to sign digital care notes. Uh, it's a requirement of, of some companies like long-term care insurance, so um, go ahead and just do a digital signature. And sometimes it can be a little finicky if you have lotion on. So once signed in, once signed, go ahead and hit next. And this uh, takes you to a review screen. If everything looks good, go ahead and hit next and confirm your clock out by clicking the orange button at the bottom. Once uh, successfully clocked out, it takes you back to the landing page where you can continue to use the app or you can just um, exit out. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or issues using the app, give us a call and we'll help troubleshoot it. 916-226-3737